this part is going to be the more peripheral retina and would be affected by a condition such as retinitis pigmentosa. There are two main parts to the vision, if you want to call it that. One was what we refer to as central vision. So this would be the macula area of the retina, uh, where your point of best vision is, which is called the fovea. So say an individual with macular degeneration would have an impact to their central vision. But there's also the peripheral vision. And so this part is gonna be the more peripheral retina and would be affected by a condition such as retinitis pigmentosa. And in these cases, what you have is you have physical damage that occurs to that peripheral retina. And what that does is essentially cause a constriction of the periphery. So in other words, instead of an individual having a loss of vision distortion or missing areas that are in the very center, so I look at somebody's face and maybe the details of their face are missing, in this case, the periphery would be missing. So it's almost more of an effect of like you're looking through a keyhole or a straw versus being able to see the things that are in the periphery. Free. Now you can see clearly what's in the center, but you're missing everything that's around it.